angle properties in polygons. So if we look at this chart here, we can see, uh, and we already know that a triangle has a sum of 180 for all the angles. If it is an exact, if it is an equilateral triangle, which means all the sides are equal, then each angle will be 60. Similarly for quadrilateral, pentagon, hexagon, uh, septagon, heptagon, or octagon, same kind of thing. And these for each angle are only true if all the sides are the same length. So at the bottom here to summarize is a little formula that we can memorize or we can just realize that oh okay so if I have whatever however many sides I have subtract 2 from the sides just like a triangle I had 3 subtract 2 is 1 take that multiply it by 180 I will get the sum of the interior angles for that uh, shape for whatever quadrilateral or for whatever polygon I have so let's use this in an example right below so determine the sum of the angles in a 15-sided polygon. So all I have to do is I take 15, I subtract off 2 and minus 2, and I multiply that by 180. So I know 15 minus 2 is 13. Take that and multiply it by 180, and I have a sum of 2,340 degrees. And that will be the sum, the addition of all the angles in that polygon, in that 15-sided polygon. Example two, determine the measure of each interior angle. So here I have the uh, number of sides. It's nine. So if I go above, uh, I remember that each angle, as long as it is a, all the sides are equal, a regular polygon, I think it's called, as long as all the sides are equal, then I can find the measurement of each angle by doing the same uh, formula as the first one, n minus 2 times 180, that gives me all of the angles, the sum of every angle, and then just divide by how many sides there are. So n minus 2 times 180 divide by n. And this 40 degrees will, be, will come into play in a second here. So n minus 2 times 180 divided by n, the number of sides that there are. So I have nine sides here. 9 minus 2 is 7 times 180, and I'm going to take that value and divide by 9. Take 7 times 180, divide by 9. Each angle measurement is 140 degrees. Every angle in here is going to be 140 degrees. If I look at the 40 degrees out here, it should add up to 180 with the angle inside because they form a line, and they do. 140 plus 40 is 180. So that was just there to check. And you can see um, that each one of these sides is the same. They really should have lines on each side denoting that every side is equal. You really should look for that first. You can't really assume that all the sides are equal yet. Moving on to example three, the last example here. Here I have an irre irregular shaped uh, polygon. It's one, two, three, four, five sided, and all the sides are different. None of them are equal. So I have a five sided polygon. My rule still applies though for the sum of the angles inside. I can still say, you know what? It's still gonna be n minus two times 180. And that will give me the angle, the sum of all the angles inside this five-sided polygon. That still applies. I can't find the angles though because all the angles are going to be different because all the side lengths are different. I, I don't know. But I have all these angles outside which can help me. So first of all, find out what the sum should be. So I have a five-sided figure. 5 minus 2 is 3 times 180 should be 540. Good. That's a good step. Okay. So I have a bunch of stuff here that I can kind of figure out at least what some of these angles are, right? I can figure out what this one is at the top here because I know that's 90. This one must also be 90 because they have to add up to 180. The bottom right one shows me 90, so that one also has to be 90. Those ones are kind of simple. This one here says 60, and I know that added with this line over here must be 180 because they form a single line, they're on a line. So I know that this one in here should be 180. 20 degrees. 
Again, the 70 here must add to the inside angle of the polygon to add up to 180. So I know that inside angle right here plus 70 should be 180, so it has to be 110 degrees. Now, this is going to help me find x because once I have this interior angle, then I know that interior angle added to this one outside will be 180. So I could just, uh, they're supplementary, I could just subtract. I know this piece of information too, that all the angles inside this five-sided polygon must equal 540. So I can just start subtracting from 540. I'll start with the top angle here. Actually, start with 110. So 110 will go clockwise around. Minus 110, minus the 90 on the top left, uh, minus 120. It's good to be systematic sometimes because then you can know that you're covering all your bases. And then minus this 90 on the bottom, which leaves me with 130 for this angle here. And we can see that they are indeed all different except for these 90 degrees here, but the rest of them are not regular at all. And that leaves me with this angle here, which is going to be 50 degrees because it must be supplementary with the 130 to add up to the 180 uh, degrees of a line. So using similar polygons and, or regular polygons, sorry, and irregular polygons, we can see that we can still find the angle measurement uh, as long as we're given enough information. But keep in mind those two little formulas here and here as well. And if you get stuck, if you can't remember them, sometimes it's a good idea to think, well, a triangle has 180. A triangle has three sides, and I know that three minus two is one, one times 180. So you always have to subtract two from the number of sides of your polygon.